Hey guys, so welcome to uh, week three, five, three, one. I think this is my fifth go around, so month five. And yeah, I just finished the squat session. It took me a long time to do, but we'll talk about that later. So we started off initially with uh, overhead pressing as we usually do. Um, so we started off, I think, pretty strong. Um, I did uh, the top set, 135 pounds for three. So aesthetically, visually, obviously awesome because I got to put a 45 pound plate on each side and I was able to do um, three reps. So fantastic, uh, fantastic. And hopefully we could keep it up. That was probably my biggest, yeah, I think that was the biggest percentage like increase um, month to month. So uh, of all the lifts. So I'm very proud of that. Then we went ahead and did the pull-ups, you know, got that going. Um, those are going strong. Like I said, I, I wish I could do more reps by now, but whatever, I'll take it. And so, you know, next we move on to uh, deadlifts. So this week, I mean, I was able to change, you know, my, my shifts are in a, in a way that I, I kind of was able to sleep well the nights before and then lift without uh, too much um, external uh, chores or uh, things to do. So the deadlifting, I was a little worried um, just because, you know, it's getting heavier now, but... Uh, we almost had a critical grip failure during the 305 by 3 set. But, you know, overall, I'm pretty happy, right? So that top set, was it 340 by 4? 340 by 4, yeah, pretty good. And, you know, it, it didn't feel too bad, honestly. And it even feels like my grip kind of got fatigued at the end there. So... You know, I talk about it before, but there's a couple of ways to estimate your one rep max. And if you do it using the uh, NSCA coefficients, my max is actually higher than if you use like the normal, you know, online calculator. So we'll see. We'll see what we do for next time. But not too shabby. And then for bench, this is probably the closest I've ever come to actually failing a lift without failing it. That second rep on bench, I mean, that took everything. I was like 0.1% away from not being able to complete that lift. And luckily I have the uh, supports to where I can just kind of lower the bar and set it down. But still, uh, I, you know, I knew I, I would be okay if I couldn't lift it, but I still kind of just mustered every bit of energy I could because I needed to prove to myself that I got a little bit stronger. And then, yeah, you guys ever like get too pumped up before the top set and kind of like sap all your energy? So I think 
for these bench sessions, I think for the second uh, for the second set, uh, I think it was the one uh, the one seventy or whatever. I I ended up you know you listen to music and it's you know it hits and you lift, but then the music keeps going and it's still pretty good. And you know you're just kind of like amped and um, yeah, I feel like I took away a little bit of extra energy before that uh, top set. And then finally, squat day. Oh, man. Oh, man. You guys. I couldn't sleep well the night before this one. And I debated postponing squats until tomorrow and doing them either before or after work. But I worked three days, and I really wanted to do them today, but... I slept pretty poorly, and this morning I woke up and I just felt not great. So, I mean, really today was kind of a, almost a waste of a day relative to the last few, just because of how little I got done. But I said, you know what, it's okay. Let's just do it. Let's drink some coffee and go for it. Like, you're going to regret not trying, yeah. and you're not doing much else today, so just go for it. And... Luckily for me, not of its luck, but I didn't squat last week, but I was able to hit the top set this week. So it was 240 pounds, and I was able to hit it for two, which puts my one rep max at 247. So this lift was uh, difficult, and this uh, five these five sets of 10 for the squat were exceptionally difficult. I took a long rest breaks, like... I think it took me maybe an hour to finish those five sets of 10, uh, just because I felt so tired afterwards. Will consider, I think, maybe shortening the rest periods to like three minutes, like, like standardizing it. And then, I don't know, this is the, this is the thing I wanna bring up, just cause it's happened to me a couple of times. I, I take creatine in like capsule form, but it's like a powder inside. And so what will happen is I'll, I'll take it with a liquid, but every now and then I'll like burp or cough, have like white dust just come out of my mouth or my nose. And it's such a freaky uh, feeling and a visual. Like I see it, I'm like, whoa, what happened? I don't know if any of you guys can relate, but I'll uh, see you guys later, I guess. <laughs> 